looking at the season ahead or perhaps looking forward to a campaign what are your goals what would you like to achieve what's your plan this team is trying to analyze whether a faster acceleration and a lower cruising speed will lead to faster times overall this team is analyzing their 500 meter performance and note the speed changes it seems to go up and down throughout the whole race I analyzed a 200 meter race and plotted the speed change over all the strokes it took to complete the race using this as our benchmark it took this team 46.5 seconds to complete a 200 meter race let's set our goal at 40 seconds for a 200 meter race which seems a bit optimistic this team managed to do 40 seconds for a 200 meter race so what are they doing different to the rest of us here is the same team from a different angle and note the team behind it team 5 also did 40 seconds for 200 meters Note the paddlers are not moving their body very much during the stroke. Ho et al. 2009 commissioned a study and found that elite paddlers move their body less than sub-elite paddlers. Note that at paddle entry, sub-elite paddlers had a body angle of 48 degrees compared to 41 degrees for elite paddlers. Here we have an elite paddler who is not changing her body angle throughout the paddling stroke. Here she is demonstrating a much larger change in body angle throughout the paddling stroke. What are the advantages or disadvantages of changing your body angle throughout the paddling stroke? As you move forward the boat should move backwards and as you move backwards the boat should move forwards. But Dragon Analytics point out that you move forwards much faster than you move backwards when you're paddling in dragon boat. Let's calculate how much moving forward or backwards affects the speed of your dragon boat. I won't bore you with the details, but I used equations of motion from physics, I used trigonometry from mathematics, and I used anthropometric data to calculate the change in speed of your boat due to the body angle that you move and calculated that if you move your body by 10 degrees less throughout the paddling stroke you will increase the speed of your boat and reduce your 200 meter time 